I wanted to continue our uh, discussion on acids and bases uh, and give you a lot of little secrets that some other instructors do not tell you. I don't know why they don't. But you might be wondering, because we referenced it before, how do you know if something's a strong acid or a strong base? It can be difficult to tell, and really in later chemistry courses you're going to find out how to chemically tell the difference. But I will tell you for now, how do you know? Okay. Here we go. I will tell you in 30 seconds, maybe I'll do it in 10 seconds. I'll tell you in 10 seconds how to know, given any molecule in the world, if it's a strong acid or a strong base, or if it's a weak acid or a weak base. Here we go. See this table? It's table 5-1 in some of the books, 5-2 in some other books. If it's on this table, it's strong. If it's not on this table, it's weak. There we go. I think that took five seconds. So, hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic, those are all strong acids. If you see here like hydrofluoric acid, it's not here. Not a strong acid, not on the table. All these hydroxides are strong bases. Uh, for example, ammonia, NH3, not on the table, not strong. Again, later in chemistry you're going to find out how to figure this out, but if you know this table, probably 95% of what you'll ever come across, maybe even more, 99% uh, in Chem 2, you'll know if it's strong or weak. Again, if it's here, it's strong. If they give you something you don't see here, it's weak. That's it. That's the secret. Now you are so set for the future. Let's take a look at a little example. You don't have to write this down. I just want this to be kind of an illustrative example uh, for you to be able to tell the difference between some different concepts. This is a conceptual question. The experimenter has a solution of 2.1 molar hydrobromic acid, 100 milliliters, and another solution of 2.2 molar uh, nitrous acid. Which is the stronger acid? We usually want to put a question like this on the test. Students are driven to do some calculations. However, no calculation is necessary. It did not ask you what the pH is, or what the moles are, or what the mass is. It says, what is the stronger acid? You can take a second to guess, but uh, all you have to do is say, well, HBr is on the table, HNO2 is not. HBr is the stronger acid. That's it. That's how you know. So, if it's not a strong acid, it's automatically considered a weak acid. There's no middle ground. So if it's not here, it's weak. Done. That's it. Hey, I like that one. Now, there are definitely acids uh, that you'll come across, maybe, uh, that don't fall into these categories. I'll just give you one. Uh, for example, H S B F six. This uh, is fluoroantimonic acid. H S B is antimony, some fluorines. This is the strongest acid known. As you can see, it's not on our table, and that's mostly because it's not really that practical. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, but just to show you an example, hey, there, there's some different stuff out there. This is, well, you've heard of sulfuric acid. If you had 100% sulfuric acid, which you have, like, way, way less than that in lab, this is 20 quintillion times stronger than 100% sulfuric acid. So this is strong, strong. Now, one more thing I was just going to say about acids, uh, just a practical. Let's say uh, you throw up. For whatever reason, you, you'll have to brainstorm reasons that would make you throw up after a party or whatever. Well, think about, why would I not drink orange or lemon juice after throwing up to soothe my throat? Well, if you think about that, you're throwing up with what's coming up is stomach acid. It's slightly acidic down there. And so, if you drink something acidic, it will just more agitate your throat, which is a little raw after throw up. What you would want to do is drink some potentially weak acidity juices, uh, something like apple juice, 7-Up, uh, something like that. Those are usually okay because the acidity, it's still acidic, but it's many orders of magnitude weaker than your stomach acid, and that will help dilute and soothe uh, your throat more than <laughs> drinking something like orange juice.